Hey everybody, it's Chris from Prepared Mind 101. I was just wrapping up out here uh, from doing my last two videos and it stopped raining for a sec and I wanted to try and show you uh, some different uh, tarp shelters. Basically, uh, I've been working on this 8x10 shelter system and what i found is you can get really creative if you have those tarp clips in your kit. If you've got a bunch of tarp clips and a bunch of the little metal stakes, you can come up with all sorts of stuff. So you don't have to just go buy the you know five six ten you know different tarp shelters that you know everybody uses so I want to take the camera over here and show you what I came up with real quick okay this is the same 8x10 tarp and basically what I did is I uh, made a glorified potato chip bag <laughs> with an opening so let me show you what I did I started off with the uh, with the brown side down and then I folded uh, the two sides over just enough to where they overlapped as you can see here and then once I got them overlapped I took a tarp clip on each side and uh, locked it down so I kept them in place then I flipped the tarp over put it where I wanted and then I uh, basically had you know a flat bag here so then I wanted to make this a bivy type shelter that I didn't have to worry about rain leaking in and if it was really super wet I suppose you know with the overlap that I have you know in there it could get you know in but you know take what you can get you know if you've got that you know duct tape in your uh, 10 piece kit you can easily seal that up but see what I did here is I took the ends and I rolled it up three times so that uh, no water could get in and then I locked them down in three spots with the tarp clips and then since the tarp clips already have the holes I just used those as anchor points too and then I staked them down then I set up my uh, my tarp pole I still haven't named the thing yet and just pulled it forward till it was nice and rigid and staked it down and then staked out these two ends here so basically you've got a big bivy sack here that you know a pretty good sized person can fit in and they'll have plenty of room for their gear and uh, I kept the mylar part move this here. back it up the other way I kept the mylar part to the front so if I you know uh, do a, a fire out here somewhere I can get that heat reflecting down onto me and as I've mentioned in other videos having this kind of uh, support system in the front kind of makes it hard to do a fire but if you've got a tree you know like you know up here somewhere you don't have to stake it down you can take that night eyes uh, figure nine and then just run the uh, just run it up this way so it'll still stay supported and it'll still have that pole there but you won't have the uh, line going down to where your fire would be so I haven't made this one before I just kind of whipped it together real quick but I think it it's a pretty good shelter now if it was raining and blowing you know having these kind of a-frame openings all you'd really have to do is you know get one of your uh, plastic drop cloths out of your kit and uh, put it over the front stake it down on the sides or even use tarp clips or whatnot you know that's an easy fix you know even you can even open up a uh, 55 gallon trash bag with your knife and you know do the same thing just to give you a little bit of coverage so the rain's not coming in the front but overall it's a simple shelter you know that's what I've been trying to come up with is simple shelters you know it didn't take me any time at all to figure out or put together and I think it would work rather well there you have it that's one more simple shelter from prepared mind 101 now I will come out and say that this uh, shelter that I came up with today works a lot better than the secondary one that I had you know talked about in my uh, multi uh, shelter tarp uh, video because that one once I actually folded it up and stuff I, I realized that <laughs> the plan that I had before for making that shelter work was for a 12 by 12 and it's not going to be big enough you know unless you're a dwarf you know to do it with a uh, 8 by 10 tarp so this uh, one here accomplishes the pretty much the exact same thing plus gives you all the space and size that you need you know for a full-size person to sleep in so 
that's that. Uh, Chris from Prepared Mind 101. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing my videos and subscribing to my channel. Definitely check me out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash prepared mind 101 where I put all my updates, new videos, and contests. So I'll be back with some more videos here soon. Thanks, guys. Uh, just as a little bonus, out there I've got my uh, multi setup. Uh, tarp shelter thing going. I've got it in the uh, guard tarp configuration. The sides are a little bit different than how he does it, but you know, structurally, you know, interior, you know, that's uh, set up just right. You can see how I've got the uh, reflective blanket on the top and the uh, support things are, uh, the support stanchions or camera tripod legs, whatever you want to call them, are holding that up tight and they're staked down to the ground. So. I'm going to keep this up for a couple days just to see, especially through this snowstorm, see how well that holds up.